everyone, welcome to Tiger Monkey Workshop Series. My name is Lucia Santos, I'm an artist and educator. I honestly understand how difficult it has been to stay at home. But for me, it taught me how to look carefully to my surroundings, because sometimes we have all we need. Art is not about having fancy materials, it's about getting creative with what you have and all you need is to believe in yourself. Seeing so many people around the world expressing themselves through art at a time when they had no access to art shops, it's a proof of that. Anyone can be creative, including yourself. Well, if you're still watching, you're lucky because we're about to make a painting. Before we start, let's think about what we would like to depict. Is it people, objects, feelings. Look for related imagery in anything you have available at home. Well, I'll be painting flowers, inspired by Jacob van Moskopo. And like him, I would like to depict the transience and beauty of my subject. Paintings like this one were done in oil paints until acrylic paint became available in the 1950s. This is to show you that artists did not have many options in the past and nonetheless managed to create wonderful masterpieces. For the invention of oil paint, one of the primary methods for painting was called egg tempera, a mixture of egg yolk to bind pigments into paint. As you can see in this painting from Michelangelo, it's a long-lasting technique that creates a film-like coat, preserving the pigment color. Another commonly used technique was watercolor, and you probably know this one. This technique allows for very fluid application of paint and it's wonderful for depicting movement, abstraction and delicacy, like it's portrayed in Giorgio O'Keeffe's paintings. Alright, enough of studying about the history of paint. Now it's time to create our very own type of paint. Come with me! Crack and separate an egg, preserving the yolk. Roll the yolk from hand to hand to remove excess white. Puncture the membrane of the yolk and drain into a container. Half of water in proportion to the yolk. And there we go! Your egg binder is ready to be mixed with your pigment alternatives. The top we have our natural colorants for watercolor. In the bottom part we have our spices that will be mixed with the egg binder. I have soya sauce and turmeric spice, the juice that leaks from beetroot and paprika spice, blueberries and green tea mash powder. This is art quality pigment. And this is our matcha tea powder. Let's see how both of them react to water and the egg binder. Add some drops of water to the dry pigment. Let's add the egg binder until it creates a paint-like consistency. As you can see, each spice is reacting differently and therefore requires different amounts of binder and water. Amazing! Now let's test our special spicy paint palette. Yellow, 
brown, orange, pink, green, blue and purple. Prepare three shades of coffee. Light, medium and dark. Amazing, we are halfway. Grab the image you found inspiring and place it underneath the tracing paper. Trace with some pressure. Now check your drawing and reverse the tracing paper to transfer your image. But don't forget to secure it with tape. With a pencil or pen, go over every single line and your drawing will magically start to emerge. Finally, emphasize the main lines of your drawing. Before you begin painting a masterpiece, experiment with mark making on a separate piece of paper. Remember that each brush will create a different mark. Be as creative as you want with your mark making. You can also experiment with a toothbrush or a kitchen sponge. Remember that in watercolor there is no white, so leave blank the white areas of your painting or any parts you want to depict highlights. And the last step is to complete your masterpiece. Egg tempera dries very fast, so the best approach is to paint in layers and build your image slowly. Brush marks or mark making is as important as thinking about colour. And there we go, this is my final result. To summarize this episode, you should have learned how to prepare your own paint from ingredients available at home, traced an image on tracing paper, transferred it on paper using the reverse technique, experimented with mark making and painted your masterpiece. Congratulations, you just completed episode 1. I truly hope you enjoy this journey and I hope to see you in the future. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please, 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 please send us your work. I cannot wait to see them. Bye!